In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set up a project in Substance Painter so you can bring in your mesh and begin texturing. This is going to be specifically for Unreal Engine 5 and it will also work for Unreal Engine 4. Very first thing is make sure you of course have a mesh that you can export out of your 3D modeling application. In my case it's Maya. Everything is modeled, it's complete and the UVs are also finished. Once that's all done, go ahead and select the mesh and export it as a VX. You select the mesh, go to File, Export Selection. Make sure Files of Type is set to FBX Export. Name it. Choose a location where you want to save this FBX into. And in the Geometry Settings for the FBX options, choose Smoothing Group and Smooth Mesh. And then go ahead, Export Selection. In Substance Painter, to set up a project for UE4 or UE5, go to File and choose New. Under Template, select Unreal Engine 4 Starter Assets. This will also work for Unreal Engine 5. Maybe in the future versions of Substance Painter you'll see Unreal Engine 5, but this works for both. This template will already come preset with a bunch of settings that you do not want to touch, unless you know what you're doing. Default settings will work just as they are. The one thing you may want to change is the document resolution. This is the resolution that will be used inside Substance Painter to display your textures. So in my case, 2K texture is good size. You can bump it down and bump it up depending on the document resolution you want to see in Painter. This can always be changed after you've set this up. And this does not reflect the final resolution that you will export your meshes. This is only what you see inside Painter. And then last part, before you click OK, you need to define the mesh that you're going to texture. So click Select. Navigate where you exported the FBX file into. Select it. Click Open. And now you can click OK. And here's your mesh. Now we're not done yet. The next thing you need to do is you need to bake mesh maps. So this way Substance understands the curvature, the ambient occlusion, the cavities of your mesh and can begin to apply the procedural effects that Substance Painter is known for. To bake mesh maps, it's very simple and you can just use the default settings. And this will work pretty much most of the time. Switch over to baking, F8. Again, you do not need to change anything here other than maybe check the output size for your baking mesh maps, which should match the resolution of what you see inside the viewport. And in our case, we chose 2K textures. You can change it up or down here. I'm going to leave it at 2K. And that's it. Just click on Bake Selected Textures. Now, switch back to F9, Painting. Take a look at your mesh, see if there's any artifacts. If you uv your object properly, then you should have a very clean bake. And now you can use the procedural effects, the smart masks, the generators, the filters, and it will understand the geometry of your mesh in order to apply those procedural effects. Make sure you go to File, Save As, so you can save this file, you can come back to and continue working on it or make any changes in the future. And now you are ready to texture your mesh. Want to know more on how to use Substance Painter completely from scratch? I put together a course that will show you how. And I put everything I know on how to use Substance Painter into it so you can begin using Painter to texture your meshes in the shortest amount of time. You can pick up the course right now and begin watching. And I'll see you in there.